Hi everyone, it's Paula. Welcome back to Trapani's Tech Tips for Teachers, where my goal is to help make teachers' lives a little easier. Okay, so today's tech tip is uh, going to show you how to add visual effects when you're using Google Meet. If you've not used um, Google Meet regularly yet, it's uh, Google's version of Zoom. And uh, a lot of schools, including my own district, are using Google Meet instead of Zoom. So uh, there are some you know, major similarities, but one of the differences was that it didn't have that really fun feature uh, embedded in it where you can add the cool backgrounds you know, while you're in your Zoom meeting. So uh, someone hurried up and created a Google extension that can be added in literally in seconds. So I wanted to show you what it was called and how to install it and how to sort of manipulate it. There we go. Okay, so you're um, in order to find the extension, you simply go to Chrome Web Store and type in the search box. The name of the uh, extension is Visual Effects for Google Meet. And once it appears, you're going to see this funky looking little icon. It, I, I don't know, don't ask. It looks like a speech bubble with an eyeball in it. Um, you'll see that icon so you know it's the correct one. And you're, you will see the Add to Chrome button here. Mine uh, doesn't say that because I've already installed it. So I'm not sure if you can see it here. It's the most recent shortcut across this area where I have all of my Chrome extension shortcuts. So that's the visual effect one. And I noticed that as soon as I installed it, I opened up a new Meet and I had um, the ability to use these visual effects. So here's what it looks like. I'm inside of Google Meet. And there I am, lovely. And uh, off to the left here, you have this white, you'll just see when you first open up the screen, just this white tab, uh, vertical tab. And if you hover your mouse over it, then it tells you what it is. And it's the visual effects tab. So it's a simple matter of putting a check mark, check mark in or taking it out of these um, boxes. So my favorite one, I think, is background blur, because when you click it, uh, and you always have the option for all of these effects of making it more or less blurry or pixelated or whatever the feature is. So I like this one. It's not perfect. Um, the YouTuber that I was following said that this app literally just appeared very, very recently. There are still a couple of kinks that they're ironing out and I don't, you know, you can see it's imperfect, right? So right around the outline of me, you can still see, you know, make out little portions of the background. There's a poster behind me there. So you can see a little bit in this um, space around my profile. But overall, I think it's a pretty good way to block out, you know, your home in the background. Blur actually blurs everything. So, you know, kids might have fun playing with that. I don't see why <laughs> we as teachers would blur our whole faces, but uh, there might be a purpose for that. And then Bubbles is cute. It basically takes whatever is on your screen and makes that image appear in these little bubbles that float around uh, just as a fun special effect. Contrast allows you, you know, just to kind of mess with the color a little bit. And of course, you know, all of these can be more or less, you know, depending on your mood. Uh, whoops, wrong way. Cube is a special effect that will allow, oh, let's take contrast off. There we go. Uh, so the cube just sort of spins around and whoever happens to be speaking inside your Google Meet will be in a cube that uh, twirls around. 3D movie, I guess, would actually work if someone had 3D glasses. You could see that little bit of a blue and red haze around um, the actual images. So uh, I suppose if you wore your glasses, you would see me in 3D, which is scary. Uh, flip, the kids will have fun with. They could turn themselves upside down. What else we have? Freeze, they'll also have fun with. So I could choose you know, um, to click this box and I will freeze in you know whatever position I'm in. I you can still hear me. I will continue to talk, but you won't see the video pick up until I deselect that box and here I am. Um, inverse is sort of that X-ray kind of or uh, no not X-ray negative kind of view. Uh, insane and pixelate are next and they're pretty similar. They basically pixelate uh, insane looks um, like maybe circles are used to do the pixelating and let's take that off. Pixelate uses the squares. So again, you can make it more or less, you know, pixelated depending on your mood. Soft focus is sort of a lighting effect. 
sunglasses. I'm not going to click on that one. The uh, YouTube video that I watched mentioned that sunglasses and text display are kind of in progress. And uh, sometimes when he had played with it, when he selected sunglasses, it's basically a little clip art of black sunglasses that appears across your face. Um, he said it made his Google Meet freeze. So I'm not going to select that. But I would imagine if sunglasses are here, eventually maybe some other you know, uh, clip art type things to add to your image are, are on their way. Text display, he said, often did the same thing. So um, once he irons out the kinks, you know, this app developer, once he figures out, you know, how to correct it, um, you know, these might be fun to play with as well. And then this green screen option allows you to um, upload a background. So let's see if I can get this to work. And he says, you know, more things coming soon, obviously. I think he's really trying to, you know, make it usable for us before the school year is out. Um, so if we click upload background, I just added a few to play around in my Google Drive. So let's see images. Here we go. Uh, so I chose a couple of really cool pictures. Let's see what happens. Huh. There it is. Okay. So I chose one of my backgrounds and um, again, it's not perfect. It doesn't look like it, you know, it might be, you know, dependent on the size of the image. So it seems to cut off here at my shoulders. And again, right next to the outline of me, you can see a little bit of my house behind there, but um, you know, kind of a cool way to add some of those features. I see in my video recording, it's now uh, my, voice doesn't match the movement <laughs> of my face. I think this is adding a little much to the, uh, to the bandwidth here. There we go. So that seems a little more normal. Um, but you know, once you have some pictures added to the background, you simply click upload background. And, um, you know, once this thing is selected, you'll see your different images appear back there. So uh, again, just a fun thing to add to your final Google meets of the school year. Um, Hopefully, uh, you know, you and the kids can have fun. Uh, it's a really simple extension to add. It can be used on a desktop, laptop, or Chromebook. And um, again, super simple. Uh, if you have any questions, you know where to find me. Thanks so much for watching. If you found today's tip useful, like, comment, or share. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss a thing. If you have any questions, comments, or requests, you know where to find me.